Good morning, word nerds. Let's fix the camera real quick. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We made it to Friday, so welcome to the fabulous Friday edition of Word of the Day. My name is Christine. I am a member of the Perry Girls, and each and every weekday morning, I bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound sparkles. Hello, Fearless Fridays. I love Fearless Friday. I think that is a fabulous, fabulous handle because every day should be lived fearlessly, right? Wow, a whole bunch of people just jumped in and I didn't catch all of you, but thank you so much for being here. Let's just do this. Jacob and Mr. Goodlife and David. Oh, that fearless, that's, why did I not put two and two together and figure out the Fearless Fridays was my good friend, David. And John is here, so thank you so much, you guys, for being here. Let's carafe at three. I don't know what, oh, that's who you're interviewing today. Got it. So if you guys don't already know, over on Facebook, Fearless Fridays, David Gonzalez is the host, so make sure that you are following him there because today he is interviewing Cara Fay. And if you don't know who that is, you could go watch the interview and find out. So, today's word of the day. Oh, she recorded with Lindsay Sterling. Oh, that is amazing. Lindsay Sterling, I just found out, is doing a movie or something. So that should be really cool. Um, but... Oh, Dancing with the Stars, that's what she's doing. Lindsay Sterling is doing Dancing with the Stars. So real quick introductions, I think I already did it. Meh. Yes, I did, I already did my introduction. So, <laughs> Chris, uh, Christmas album and Dancing, oh, of course she's doing a Christmas album, why wouldn't she? Those are amazing. Um, she also did a, a collab with Pentatonix, which was amazing. So today's word of the day is arith arithmancy. Yeah, I can even say it, right, arithmancy. Arithmancy. A R I T H M A N C Y. Hello. Gosh, everyone's just popping in here. Thank you so much for coming in, you guys. But arithmancy is your word of the day. A R I T H A M A N C Y. Arithmancy. A R I T H M A N C Y. Arithmancy. All right. There you go, arithmancy. That is your word of the day. And it means divination by the use of numbers, especially in names. So I actually have a family member, and I don't wanna give you their full legal name, but I can tell you the name that they were born with. First name was Kevin. And of course, their, their legal last name. Kevin was, is my cousin, and he's a super, super guy. Um, he got super into arithmancy and decided that his birth name, Kevin, and his middle name, and his last name, when you did the numbers on them, they were, they were holding him back from being who he wanted to be. So he legally changed his name to something else. And it's now Rob with two Bs, and then I don't even know if he has a middle name, and then this really interesting French sounding last name. And by the way, we are Irish. We're not French. So. He has this really interesting name now. Now, as my cousin, I grew up with him as Kevin, so I call him Kevin. My family calls him Kevin. His mother calls him Kevin. But people who he meets now, he introduces himself as Rob with two Bs and this other really cool, funky last name. But the numbers align him with where he wants to be in his life. So he actually changed his name because of his arithmancy. When he doesn't like whiskey, he goes French. Uh, I don't know that he doesn't like whiskey. You know, I don't even know that Kevin's a big drinker or Rob or, yeah, see, so now we just call him Kevin Rob or Rob Kevin because we kind of, you know, I know him as Kevin. He was my, he was my cousin Kevin my whole life and now all of a sudden he's Rob and it's like, and with two B's. Right? In order to get the numbers right, it had to be two Bs. And then this really interesting last name that's like, duh, something or other. And it's like, whatever. But he is happy because his arithmancy of his name now puts him in a better place in life as far as he's concerned. So um, he's really happy. I, I don't, I'd have to sit down and have a conversation with him and I don't really usually have a lot of opportunities. Since um, our matriarch passed away, that side of the family doesn't get together as often anymore, which is really sad because they are a very amazing group of people. So, Bob's his uncle then. <laughs> um, no, his uncles would be Elmer, William, Patrick, 
Michael and who am I missing? Timothy would be Rob's uncles. So anyway, that's my family. I just gave you guys all of a whole bunch of male names on my mom's side of the family. So anyway, that is your word of the day, arithmancy. So one more time, arithmancy, A-R-I-T-H-M-A-N-C-Y, is the divination by use of numbers, especially in names. So if you want to have an, an, an interesting assignment today, take a couple, hey, Big Ron, that should be a fun one to push through arithmancy. I would love for you guys to take your handles as well as your real names and put them through some sort of Google arithmancy calculator and figure out if your numbers are actually beneficial to where you want to be. So like if your handle on here is Big Ron and then some numbers, put that in the arithmancy tool online and see if that really is like a good handle for you or if it's putting off the wrong kind of vibes and maybe you should change it up a little, like change one of the numbers or add an extra letter or just change it all together. Um, you actually you can actually do it with your, your real birth name as well. Um, so if your name is say, uh, not to pick on anybody specific, but Jonathan Tripp, right? I don't know his middle name. Um, but if he were to put his name in an arithmetic calculator, something tells me it would come out really good because Jonathan is super cool and is, you know, very successful as an online streamer. So, um, Jenny Q is another one. Um, Carlos Gill is another one. I, I'd love to see what the, the arithmancy has to say about these people's names. I'm definitely going to put it in me. Um, I don't know. I might, I, it might mess up my lipstick, but I think I'll pass Krakow. So anyway, you guys, arithmancy is your word of the day for Friday. Use it, don't abuse it. Be good to yourselves. Be good to one another. Know that I love you all. Big hearts to all of you. And I will see you again on Monday morning for another amazing, marvelous Monday edition of Word of the Day. Until then, have an amazing weekend. Be well. And give yourselves hugs for me, okay? Sound good? All right. Bye now.